that fantasy, what would your fantasy be right now? Latex. Don't you think it's a, a perversion of an old tradition? This is the new thing. This is not a perversion. This is a fun thing to do. Anything wild. Look how wild you look. I can't see. Bye. Bye. See ya. Thanks. It's great. It's really nice. Why not? <laughs> see ya. I like these Vegas weddings. <laughs> Who would you, you know? Elvis Presley, of course. If it isn't cheap food, drink and hotel digs, casinos will do almost anything to get you inside and onto their slots. I'd like to give you all some of these complimentary beverage coupons. What do they mean? What do they mean? All you got to do is present them to the bartender inside and they give you a refreshing beverage. Are they just uh, marketing gimmicks to get us inside to make us lose lots of money? No, actually, believe it or not, you'll win a lot of money. We have the loosest nickel slots in Las Vegas, I guarantee it. Sounds a bit dirty, that. The king wouldn't lie to you, believe me. I just can't stop! Wisconsin. What's the youngest person you've ever married? 14. No. Mm -hmm. 14 years old? Mm -hmm. Yeah. With parental consent? Yes, the parents were here. Here from Jamaica. Can you do that here? Yes, uh huh. They have to get a court order, and the court order costs uh, five hundred dollars. Woo! Money, court. Nickels and dimes apart, there's always a flip side to most big and bubbly tourist destinations. Charlotte sees it every day. You know these streets out here are very dangerous. And but you know what? When you can when you can satisfy God. Do you know, do you know uh, what's I'm really happening, happening, but I'm also, I mean... You're watching for somebody to pick you no, up? No, 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 I'm not. No, 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 I'm Let not. Jesus I'm not. You I'm up. having a problem over here. Let Jesus pick you up, okay? He's a big pimp coming yeah. towards us. I hope he doesn't touch me. You walking past? You walking past? It hurts, it hurts a lot. You know what I'm saying? It hurts for me to have to risk my life every night. Yeah. All, all day, have to yeah. be up all these days. It hurts me the most, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I want you to know that... The Lord is here for you, and if you ever have any problems and you want somebody to talk to, I'm yes, right here all the time. Yes. Every day there's prostitutes up and down and alcoholics going up and down the sidewalk, and I always tell them about Jesus. In Jesus' name, let there be blessings, Father. Thank you, just made my day. All right. Heartache. Beat a little heartache. Ah, uh, forget a heartache. Oh. But it's not gonna go away. Oh dear. Do you think gambling is good for heartache? No, it's just a little uh, enjoyment. Uh, it's not to win and get rich, because I know it's not gonna happen. It's just like to try and forget about what happened. What happened? You really wanna know? Yeah. You really wanna know? Uh, go on. My son died three weeks ago. Oh, no. How? AIDS. Ah. Uh. Do you think life's a gamble? Ah. Uh, life's a big one-armed bandit. It seems like it's unfair sometimes, but... But I just... I don't know, I guess we're put in this world to die. You know, that's what it's all about. Do you want a drink? Oh, I have a beer right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. So I right. Well, I, look, I'm beating you. <laughs> well, you are. I have more nickels in there. <laughs> I talk too much. <laughs> Initially greeting the eager visitor with a huge rush of energy, Vegas is one of those places that eventually pulls. Something to do with eating too much cheap food and losing too much money. 
Three days was enough for us, and the laid-back west coast of California beckoned. To get to it from Nevada, though, you've got to travel across some extremely rough terrain. To the virgin desert stormer, it looks barren, desolate, and bleak. In that strange film, The Misfits, starring Marilyn Monroe and Clark Gable, Nevada was known as the Leave It State. If you had any money at all before you came there, you'd lose it and leave it there. If you had a girlfriend or boyfriend, you'd have an argument and dump them. If you had any atomic weapons, bombs, that sort of thing, you'd leave them in Nevada. Well, we've thrown it all up to come here to the eastern bit of California to somewhere that's even more arid, desolate and barren than anything Nevada can throw up. Reaching the hottest point on Earth in the summer, the lowest point below sea level in the Western Hemisphere, it's Death Valley and it's as hot as hell. The eerie, quite ethereal quality that hangs over the place produces such a feeling of intense alienation that some might feel a spontaneous need to reclaim their identity soon as they see a salt pan. Sweating buckets, Death Valley. Can we try the aircon, Charlie? Can we try the aircon? Uh, <coughs> it doesn't work. What do you mean it doesn't work? <laughs> Let's fix them. minus 282 feet below sea level, this is truly the lowest point in this quarter of the globe. And this is where all the water collects, because it's basically got nowhere else to go. It comes here and it gets evaporated and it deposits tons of salt all around. There's only a few things that can survive in this disgusting saline environment and the Death Valley soft body snail is one of them. But I'll be knackered if I can see one. And all around, isolation. Desolation, no precipitation. Dun dun dun. Desiccation. Dun dun dun. Desiccation. Dun dun dun. Desiccation. That's what you need. Oh, if you wanna, wanna be, be the, the best, best 
if you want to beat the rest. But um, boom, desiccation's what you need. The big American heat had finally dried up our small British brains.